Hey, well, hello to everyone out there in YouTube land. I hope that everybody is doing well. I am doing fine. I thank God. Um, thank you so much for asking. And to my beloved brethren in the Lord, I want to encourage us to be careful where we're eating from, where we are, what we are listening to, who we are listening to, who we are following, what we are following. Because if individuals are trying to teach you about dreams, um, interpretation of dreams, uh, warfare, angels, all kinds of topics, uh, spiritual topics in quotes, but Jesus is nowhere in it. There's nothing about holiness. There's nothing about God's holiness, the holiness of God and what's expected of us as God followers, the righteousness of God and what's expected of us. No one is teaching you anything about the life of Jesus, how he walked, what he did on a daily basis. You need to chop it off. You really need to chop it off. If no, there's no reference to Christ Jesus, there's no reference to his life, you know, real life, not foolishness or anything like that. But I mean, Sermon on the Mount stuff, you know, how he healed, you know, uh, thousands or how he fed thousands, uh, how he went about doing good. You know what I mean? I mean, all of these things and after he his you know, his crucifixion is during his crucifixion, all that went on behind the scenes, as well as, you know, through, you know, what he daily, what he went through as through the walk, the process, you know, uh, his resurrection when he came back and how they walk with him and didn't know it was him and talk about how, how our heart did burn, you know, listening to the, to what he was saying, you know, all of these different, different things. You got to cut it off because we're listening to so much garbage that has nothing to do with Christ. It does not correlate at all. It's not, you're not even on the level to even be listening, you know, because some things are for, you know, there are some good teachers and deliverance ministers, et cetera. <clears throat> Although what those people, the ones that I know of are passed away. So, but they do still have a few, they have books and, uh, you know, ministries that are still ongoing, you know, ran by other people or whatever. But nowadays, you know, like I was trying to say, is so many people are teaching so from so many topics and you know, success and it's just, so many things, but they do not correlate with with Christ Jesus. They have, you'll be out here doing the wrong thing, spinning your wheels, wasting your time, your money, your talents, your energy, your efforts, your resources, everything will be wasted and you will be defeated, you know, and frustrated as you walk in quotes with Christ because you, you want to do the right thing, but you also feel like, oh, well, I don't want to be poor doing it. Oh, I got to have money while I do it. No, you're looking at the wrong person for uh, and or people for your examples. You're looking at man. You're looking at mankind. You're looking at false teachers, false brethren, unfortunately. You're, that's what you're looking at. Look unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Read your Bible. Start in Matthew. Just go ahead and read the entire New Testament, if you will. Or you can, you know, just start at the Gospels to know who Christ Jesus is. That is so simple. And you'll see. And you pray first because you want illumination. You want God to sh shine, you know, on you to so that you will see who Jesus really is. And because so, you have to detox yourself uh, from what you've learned, what you've been into, you know, you want to do the right thing, you know, because, you know, so, cause Jesus was not rich, 
Okay, he didn't walk around talking about getting cars, getting money, obtaining uh, how many PhDs and how many doctorates I can get and all of that, you know, because you don't need all of that. All of that is worldly because the Lord picked, handpicked Peter and, 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 you know, his different disciples he handpicked these people from f- different fishermen and, and stuff like that. He handpicked these people from where? <laughs> and what did people say about them? They were like learned people. People who were had uh, uh, extensive uh, uh, education. University, those who matriculated through <laughs> universities, etc. And he will do it for you. <laughs> and he will do it through the Holy Spirit. And he said the Holy Spirit is here to teach us and lead us and guide us. We, you'll be spending all your money on all of these programs and workshops and trying to get this and trying to obtain this knowledge, obtain that knowledge, wasting time sitting in these classes, wasting money, money you could be using somewhere else, trying to get to a point when you are spinning your, unfortunately you'll be spinning your wheels out of control, trying to get somewhere that does not take you that much time at all. You just devote yourself, submit yourself to Christ, (coughs) excuse me, and that is it. Look what happened to the the children wandering in the wilderness for how long when they could have got there when? You know, come on, you know. So I just want to encourage us to be careful because I know there are so many people out here and and maybe they well meaning. I don't want to say people are, but but to me, they charlatans because all they want to talk about is getting you in your pockets. Oh, this book costs this much or this class is this much or this is this much. I mean, where's the freebie? What if what about the people who can't afford that? You know, which, you know, is garbage anyway. All the stuff that they even putting together is just is something that they didn't stole from somebody, too. Because, no disrespect, but I have seen so much plagiarism also. You know, they might turn it around a little bit, but I've seen some plagiarism, even in a, uh, a, 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 a religious cult that I was in. Uh, I, you know, they have all, uh, they got thousands of books and, and whatnot. And all of them came from somebody. And, you know, they turned the words around a little bit. But I see the similarities and and they didn't, they were not uh, uh, out then. So I know where they got it from. <laughs> yeah. And you and using it erroneously because the way you're using it, it, there's no holiness in it. You know, holiness is not in covering your head. Okay, that's that's not in you know. It's so many things, so so many things. So anyway, I just want to come and encourage us to be careful and be watchful out here. If you really want to follow Christ, you better get to know who Christ really is. Stop following all these people trying to find out who Christ is or trying to get somewhere. Cause really a lot of us, we've maybe you've been poor or you broke or you, you just got your gaze on people and you want to sit, you want to uh, sit, hold a microphone in, in front of millions of people. You know, you want to get, I'm, all this money coming flowing in and whatnot, it, it, but that's not the way of Christ. That, that's that's not the way of Christ at all. That's the, you don't want to do that. You want to live for God, and trust me, you will be blessed. Everything you want and need, and first of all, <coughs> you'll be content. You will learn contentment by God's grace. You will learn what contentment is and you won't even want all of that because it's a headache to have too many things. It's a headache. You got to maintain it. You know, it, it's, a, it's a head, also a headache to try to please man and impress 
mankind. It's a it's a it's a headache. It's too much. A person will go mad. They will go crazy trying to keep up. You know, so be content. Live below your means. I'm telling you, God is a blesser. He said, there's no one who has not left family, houses, home, etc. who will not gain in this life and in the next. A hundredfold. And I'm a living witness to have left things behind, yet still I don't want for anything. I, I just can't tell you that I'm wanting for anything. I just can't tell you. I'm not uh, flashy. I live very modestly. Um, but I have everything that I need. You know what I need to get by on every day? I eat good. I don't suffer eating. You know, if I want to go somewhere, I can go somewhere. Uh, the little bills I have, they're paid by God's grace. You know, um, you know, is it material things like clothing? Uh, you know, I, I, I like the home. So, you know, I I like home good things. You know what I mean? I like houseware. Where I like cookware. You know, <laughs> dinnerware. <laughs> A, a cute, you know, home, you know, nice, clean, and little things in it and stuff like that. But and I'm happy, so I I thank God for that, you know. And even if I didn't have that, I still can be happy. I've been in all types of situations before, you know what I mean. And you have to learn to be content in whatever situation we are in, you know. So be careful where you are, beloved brethren. Be careful where you are and who you are listening to and following and whatnot because these people will waste your time. And you, and unfortunately, I pray not, but uh, God forbid a bad thing, but you will become an enemy of God because you're not following God. You're following all of these charlatans out here. You know, who who have nothing to do with God. They're not walking in holiness. They're not walking in righteousness. And then another sign. I, just, I meant to say this the other day. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Because the Lord told me to make a video the other day. I think I wrote down a little bit something to remember, to remind myself. But I'd been under the weather too. So, um, so but what, you know, because... There are so many people that are out here, and it's so ridiculous. And and I don't mean any harm to you. I don't. What I'm saying, I don't mean to disrespect you, but I'm just uh, promote or motivating you prayerfully to uh, uh, be wise, be discerning, because anybody that will sit on any kind of platform, whether it's Facebook, YouTube, wherever people are, TikToks. And everywhere, I know it's TikTok, I call it tip, whatever I want to call it. But, and sit up on platforms in front of you with all kind of the, the reddest lipstick they can put on, the glitterous, longest eyelashes they can put on, cleavage out, sh- you know, shoulders out. You know, part of their body, you know, you can see their skin of their shoulders and, and, dec- uh, 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 what is this called? Your decolletage, uh, whatever, your cleavage and your upper area here. And you listening to them, something's wrong with that. Glossy lips, because your lips don't need to be glossy. You don't, lip gloss is a, there's a reason for lip gloss. Now, a a chapstick is not a lip gloss, okay? If you need your lips to be moist, because you're dead dry, you drink water. You, first of all, you drink water, keep keep yourself hydrated, because dry lips come from dehydration. Those that's drinking coffee all day, drinking sodas, lattes, and all kinds of stuff. Drink water for dehyd- to keep yourself hydrated, number one. Number two, 
chapstick is different from lip gloss. You you could use a chapstick. So I'm just not going to cause attention to you, entice others, and all of that. Okay? Okay. Lip gloss is an attraction. It's to entice. It's to lure. You got to know stuff now. Glittery things. Sparkly stuff. Be careful. What you looking at, okay? Guys that speck their hair, got their hair all, got a hair, they hair so cute, you, you thought they'd been in the salon. Their eyebrows are arched also, okay? Facial is all groomed. Now, I'm not saying don't be nicely groomed. Uh, you know, a gentleman should be nicely groomed. But to precision and... And that's, you know, he's trying to look a certain way, okay? And he's got muscles and muscles showing you. You you should not see, the, you should not be able to see, they should not reveal to you their body parts or their the structure of their body, their muscles. You should not be able to see that. They should be wearing something that's covering that. They don't, they could be muscle bound or uh, nicely, f uh, f uh, uh, whatever you call it, uh, you know, whatever. But for you to see it, it's wrong. They should have on something that does not show their prints of their uh, 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 buttocks either or their prints of their private parts or their uh, muscles of their legs. All of those different things with all them tight clothes on, that's, that's bad. It, that's very bad of, of a, their there's those are <coughs> excuse me those are and they are male ones and female ones those are uh, uh what's that lady name that fell down uh that had all the prophets uh jezebels had all the prophets skin you saw her they talk about how she put on her makeup and all of that she, you know made up made up what does that mean made up I'm, you know, it's it's false. It's a fairy tale. It's you know what I mean. Be careful. A guy should not be on like that. Smelling, got on all kind of colognes. All of those are lures to and and, and enticements, beloved brother. Use discernment. Be careful what you listen to and looking at out here. And then you, a woman, lusting after him, or you even as a guy, you lusted after this guy. You know. That's supposedly a preacher or telling you something or whatever. You know, be very careful out here. You know, the the Bible tells us that the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy whatever he can. Whoever he can. That's what his goal is. That's his mission. But Jesus said, I have come that you might have life. And that life more abundantly. Is that John 10, 10? You know, so uh, be out here on the look, you know, look look away from all of that. You know, get to God. Uh, get, use your efforts, your energy, your, 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 your money, your resources, your talents. Use that to find God. And it does not take what? Any money to find God, just get alone in a room somewhere by yourself and and read that Bible. Read that Bible. Pray first, Lord, show me who you are. I just submit myself to you. Help me to stay on the straight and narrow. Help me to, to avoid distractions. <coughs> put that phone away. <laughs> Turn it off, put it on silent, mute, mute it, whatever. And put a note on your door. I'm going to be uh, busy for a little while. Do not disturb. Whatever you got to do, the Lord will show himself to you, the true yourself. And then you're going to have to repent because there are going to be things you got to do, processes. Because you got to repent from all the, the foolishness and cut off all of these people. Get rid of their newsletters. Unsubscribe them. Unfollow them. Whatever. Block them. Right? Whatever you got to do to Close all of that out so you could be single eyed. So you could be single eyed. Okay, so that you could follow Christ fully and wholly. W H O L L E Y. 
I mean, why? So that's what we want to do out here. If you want to satisfy Jesus, if you want to please him, you know, if you really want to follow him, that's how you're going to do it. Okay. So anyway, I love you very much. Um, and, you know, I pray that you hear the, hear, heed the message. A word is enough for the wise in Jesus' name. You know, don't come with your um, offenses because people get so offended. Ah, well, I can't wear what you talking about. I can't wear makeup. Oh, ain't nothing wrong with them put, making themselves look pretty or making themselves up. Baby, they're not making themselves look pretty, okay? They have intentions for what they're doing, okay? They have their motives for what they're doing. It's nothing wrong with being, I'm pretty by myself. I don't, all I, I don't, I don't need to have putting anything on to be pretty, okay? I'm pretty in, in God. I'm beautiful in God. I'm cute in God without anything on. Without putting on any made up. Okay. If anything you're going to make up. You know. You better make up your life. To get to get to Jesus. So you would not be a foolish bride. But a wise one. So you know. Don't come with your offenses. And all of that. Get wise. Get get for real. Grow up. And you know. Throw up, all, throw up and throw off that foolishness. It's time to grow up. Because we got work to do. Look at people dying on a daily basis. All day, every day. People dying. Because you hey, have not spoke the word of God to, to them. You have not led them to God, to Christ Jesus. You have not laid hands on them to heal them. Uh, you know, giving them a word of life. You know, you have not taught them about holiness, righteousness, repentance. Nothing about Jesus ever crosses your mouth. People don't even know that you are a Christian. They they might know that you go to church or something, but they that's all they know. You know, that's those are two different things, you know. They you know, so and then these poor people who are over here being bombed and <coughs> children I know these people are traumatized. You know, what you know what you know anyway i'm not going to go there i'm not going to go there right now but anyway i love you very much pray for prayerfully you have heard the word and you will heed it in jesus name please share this video uh please like this video and if you'd like to you can leave a comment as well um so anyway i'll talk to you guys later love you so much bye bye for now <laughs>